I'm not John Green, but if you can keep me up in the world, you know there's a lot of reasons to say French the llama. Now, what you may not know are where are these llamas going. So you may have heard of quinoa, or in the Christian language of the Incas, Chisaya Mama, the mother grain. It is grown in Bolivia and Peru, where 70% of the farmable land belongs to some large farm owners, and 65% of the population live below poverty. So why does this matter? Okay, well, quinoa, on the recent rise in popularity, has uh, increased the crop demand to the point where it's now a commodity. This means the poorest farmers need to till the... Okay, well, quinoa's recent rise in popularity has donned an increase in crop demand so much that it's now a commodity. This means the poorest farmers need to till their land year-round to keep up. This, of course, leads to lower land quality. They also turn to the poster child of industrial agriculture, merchandised soil tilling. While it sounds nice, it makes pests and diseases more favorable, especially when you toss into the mix global warming. Oh, side note. Yeah, these regions generally have no pests, so unprepared they turn to pesticides and agrochemicals to cope. So now they have lowered their pest problem, as well as killed the good critters, all the while they're jeopardizing the chemo's organic status. So llamas, what does this got to do with llamas? Well, llamas with their flat padded feet help prevent erosion, while their digestive system is apt for fertilizing these farms. However, if you're a farmer who's degrading the land quality and trying to mass produce, you are already using all of your land. So to keep up, the only way to really do anything is to get more. In essence, they're kicking the llamas off the mountain. Well, there you have it. The increased quinoa demand led to delocalization of llamas, which could be devastating for the quinoa.